So what we want to do really quickly is just describe um, why uh, redirect links are so important for your business. So we're going to jump right into that really quickly. This is going to take like a minute. So reasons to use redirects, you want to attract affiliate links, you want 404 pages not to be uh, 404 pages anymore or to point someplace specific. You want short aliases for long URLs, you want meaningful persistent aliases for longer changing URLs. Uh, split testing, search engine optimization, permanent movement, and similar domain, na domain names. Now, we're not going to look at all those. We're just going to look at a quick link right now and two scenarios uh, that, that are the most commonly used. So this is our, our uh, dashboard panel for uh, Simple Click Tracker. And you'll see that when you click on new link, it's going to bring you to the edit link page. And then it's a blank page here. All you do is input your title, your description if you want. You don't have to have the description. You put in the title. All of this is searchable. In fact, everything here is searchable, even, even the, uh, the redirect URL and the destination URL. All of these things are searchable. So you would put in your title, your description. You choose a group if you want a group. You uh, have a domain that you've already set up or you've installed this on. So that would be the domain that shows up here. And then you have the redirect short code. So in this case, I'm going to go to CNN at this link, which is http uh, forward slash uh, cnn.com. And all I have to do here is just type in CNN. This can be anything that you want it to be, but you can only use it once. It has to be unique. So if you use CNN here and you came back and tried to use CNN here for another link, you couldn't do that. You have to change it here if you want it to, be, uh, to go somewhere else. And that's the beauty of this. So scenario one is I want people to visit page A to be redirected to page B. I just showed you that with um, the CNN link. For example, here is nams.ws forward slash SCT, which will take people to our, uh, our sales page, which is on mynams.com forward slash SCT live. So essentially what you're looking at is um, moving from one page to the next page automatically. And it, you, you, all, you have a shorter link going to a longer link or a page that you can always change. Now, if I change the sales page here on page B for uh, and wanted the SCT, this nams.ws forward slash SCT to go someplace else, I would just change this back to the link here. So this would stay the same. And then we would repoint to something else here. So you can always change the back end. And the benefit to that is huge because you can put this short link in all of your documentation. You can put it in your, if you're writing books, you can put them in books and you can always change out the back uh, link so that you always have a live link that, that uh, this one will point to. It will never go dead because you can always change the back end. That's scenario one. Scenario two is affiliate product tracking. So for example, here's names.ws forward slash BC stack. It points to this page, which is a long um, affiliate link. And you don't want to post long affiliate links like this for one reason. People can grab your affiliate link and change it to theirs. Um, but you also have a link here that you can use that is uh, less uh, cumbersome, right? So it's going to point to this page which this page automatically, because it is an affiliate tracking link, automatically handled by the affiliate system, drives to the sales page. So you're just, again, pointing to a second page which has some other actions happening behind the scenes. So this is a great way to protect your affiliate links and, and, uh, and maintain affiliate links. And one of the things that we do is when we sign, find a product that we like better than the original product, we change out the affiliate link here so that it points to uh, a better affiliate uh, products. For example, I have nams.ws forward slash host. nams.ws forward slash host always points to my favorite hosting company at that time. Not, and it, it's always an affiliate. So it can be A2, it can be Liquid Web, it can be HostGator, it could be whoever I wanted it to be but it will always be nams.ws forward slash host. And this is the affiliate link that we always change in the background pointing to a new sales page. So um, that's an important concept for you to remember as well. The new link screen comes up. You see, I give it a title. Let's say I'm going to um, go to Google today. 
all of this is searchable, right? I can choose a, uh, full, uh, a, a group and this is, you can see we have a lot of groups here. You can have as many groups as you want. You can uh, change out your groups so that they, you can merge your groups and all of that. So we'll get into the groups in a little bit, but you can choose your group or you can leave it blank, it doesn't matter. We're gonna put in here Google, and I'm just gonna call it Google Test because I don't, I think I have one for Google already. So I'm gonna call this Google Test. It has to be unique. It just can't be in your database already. So if you get, if you put something that's already in your database, you're going to get a, a message up here when you click save, it says path already in use. So we're going to do Google test and I'm going to go to google.com. Now, there's a lot of other stuff on this page, but right now this is all you have to do to create a, a quick link and just click save and close. And now in my list of quick links here of uh, redirects, I have Google test. If I click this little eye right here, it's going to take me to that page to, to view it. And here's Google search. Okay. That's how a quick link works. Let's look at the dashboard and see um, what is what you can do with the dashboard, how to navigate the dashboard, all of that. So uh, quickly, we will look up here. You'll see which version of the software you have. The Simple Click Tracker Agency version is the one that I have. It is for multi-site. You may have the single site or you may have the free version. It'll tell you up here which of these that you have. The free version is very limited. The, the uh, single site is limited to only one. Uh, one, one uh, being able to use this on one domain, and you may not have all of these tabs across the top if you have the free or the single site. But I'm just going to show you the entire thing here, so that if you haven't upgraded, you see why you should. So this is the number of clicks here. You've got total clicks and unique clicks. Now total clicks means that sometimes people click on things twice from different different uh, IP addresses is what it is. Unique clicks are different IP addresses. Total clicks are the total clicks, even the multiples from the same IP address. That's what this description is. Now you'll notice here that along the traffic, you'll see along the traffic that you sometimes get a blip in your traffic and you would wonder what that is. In cases like this, this was a bot that somehow we got more uh, clicks from the uh, same IP addresses than we were supposed to. So when I started investigating this one, I discovered that it was a social media poster that we were using with the link that was actually hitting the same domain many times. And so we, uh, we knew that we had an issue with that social media poster. That was an indicator for us that there was an issue going on. If there's a, a bot that is a um, somebody hitting you over and over and over again, it'll show up here as total clicks and it's something that you can do something about. You can block that IP address. Uh, and you'll notice here we have pretty standard multiple clicks on this. This tells me that people are uh, hitting the same IP or from the from the same IP they're hitting it multiple times, which means that they are looking at that page several times. So that's a good thing. You want people to go back and look multiple times because they're interested in that page several times. Okay. The red is the unique clicks. That gives you the idea of traffic hitting those pages. And you'll notice over here. As I get into the uh, meat of the of the dashboard, you'll see that this message, by the way, don't don't pay attention to this. This means that I have multiple domains that are not installed yet that uh, from my agency version. It's a single site or a free um, user. You will not see any of this. And if you have all your domains installed, you won't see this either. Um, now we have across the top here, we have new link, delete links, clear stats. Don't use the clear stats unless you absolutely want to clear all stats. All of the stats that are here will go away if you click clear stats, so don't do that. You'll have an option uh, to confirm that you want to do that, but don't do it. Uh, and you can import links as well. We have a CSV file that you can import if you have the information for it. All right, so you can assign groups to multiple links here if you want to, or you can assign a group when you're, uh, or search for groups here as well. Uh, your domain shows here. The reason we have the domain here is because um, you can have multiple domains. And if I click on this, you'll see that I have multiple domains installed. But if you have single site license, you're, you're only seeing the one domain that you have. This is really helpful because we keep the page to a short link so that you see all of your latest links that you've created at the top. But if you wanted to see more, you click here and you can 
go up to 250 on a page. And then you can scroll down to see all of those. Now that's helpful when you want to find something that is searchable here uh, in a specific, let's look at SVMS. That's my other piece of software. And we're going to search that. All you do is type it in. It brings up the, the uh, search term that you were looking for. It's going to look for that in the short link. It's going to look for it in the destination link. It's going to look for it in the description and in the title as well. So anything that has SVMS in it is going to show up. And you'll notice I have a lot with SVMS in it. So if I only were looking for 10, and you'll notice I have a lot of pages down here. Uh, nine pages, so that's 90 links. So if I come here, I can choose 100 links. And it'll display all of those SVMS links below. Okay. Now, if I want to reset it, go back to my uh, go back to my standard page. It'll be here. So if I come back and I click on, uh, let's go back over here to I think I have my SVMS here. Yeah. So here's SVMS. This is my folder for SVMS. So everything that is um, associated with that piece of software that we have links for, it shows up as SVMS in the folder for SVMS, okay? So there we have another way to find the SVMS links. But across the top here, we have all of these different tabs. Now we're not gonna go into these different tabs, um, except to tell you that you're not gonna see all of them. You may not see the rotator, you may not see the split test, you may not see the funnels. Um, but as an, if you get the agency version, you would see all of these. One of the things that I love about Simple Click Tracker is our groups function. And one of the reasons I love it is because it helps us with our organization of links. Now, there are so many, uh, you can create, end up creating so many redirect links that it can get a little bit difficult sometimes to manage all of them. So if you'll notice here on my NAMS.WS, it says I have 11 pages, but I only go to 11 pages here. So if I click on, uh, click on this, it's going to show that we have a lot more. And in fact, there's 21. So it just keeps going, right? So we have, a, I think we have about 4,000 links in this system right now. So it really manages a ton of links for us. Now, uh, I, I showed you earlier that you can sort by groups here. You can actually search by groups, I mean. So you can click on any of these uh, groups that we have set up. Your groups will be empty. So what you want to do is set up groups and that you're going to use on a regular basis. And to do that, you come to groups and you'll notice you have, I have all of my groups here. I can edit a group. Uh, I can click on the number of links over here to go straight to that group. Um, but you might want to add groups here. You just click add group. You have a blog and you have uh, four different elements on your, on your blog that you really focus on. And we'll take ours as an example. We have, we have uh, four areas that we specialize in. List building, email marketing, um, affiliate marketing, and doing or productivity. So I could create here a new group that was list building, probably have this already. And then I would click save. That's all there is to it. I could have one for each of four of those. And for all of my blog posts that fell into those categories, then I could actually organize all of my links to the blog post or anything about the blog post or any links in the blog post that fit that category. One of the reasons that that's really interesting is if you are an author or want to be an author someday, all you do is go to your groups. If you're a blogger, go to your groups. This is just a, a hypothetical way that you could use this and you would go to see I have blog posts as well um, you could go to where is uh, did I have this building I think what we have is lead magnets so if I were writing about um, that topic and I wanted to create a book quickly I could go to that click that group Let's see that goes over here to 43 so I could click this group uh, see all the links that I have in that group and start clicking on those links to pull out all the content from those blog posts that were associated with that link. So grouping is really open. I mean, it's a blank, it's a blank slate. You can create the kind of groups that you want to uh, create in your system. Now, I encourage you to think this through. 
But we started this, you'll notice we're on version 6.9.8. This has been in our, we've been using this tool for a long time and have made a ton of changes to this tool. Uh, and it continues to grow and continues to get better and more useful and all of that. But groups, when we started, we were pretty willy-nilly with the groups that we set up. So we can merge those groups now, but that is that is um, part of the group system when you go into editing the groups. You can merge them as well. So, all right, so the other thing where you can come to groups is when you go to a new link or an, even edit a link, and you edit by clicking the, uh, the link here, you'll notice you can select a group here on the new link page or you can add a new group here and you just drop it down and, and, and uh, add it quickly there and you just click save so that's another way to get new groups into your system okay so if i come back over here i want to show you one more thing about the groups that's so important okay so what we're looking at here is the dashboard again if i come over here and i wanted to select this one and 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 I could come in and I could assign those to any group that I wanted here. So if I click on those, they would automatically be assigned to any of these groups. Now I'm not gonna do that, um, but you would see, I could actually select all of those. If I wanted to, um, let's put BC Stack in here. So I've got three links with BC Stack, right? If I wanted to select all of those, I could now add those to uh, a group that I wanted to add here as for let's say affiliates or products or whatever I wanted. I could add just those three, all right? That's how groups are gonna work and help you organize your links. So you're looking at the My Nams, uh Facebook page. This is where we put a lot of information, a lot of educational information. We share a lot of content, all of that. But what I wanna show you is the way that Simple Tracker helps you create uh, files or helps you create sharing tools that are clickable on the image in your Facebook, um, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, Twitter, all, all of these areas. So this is how this works. So you'll see here, this is my, my um, basically it's my, my post about uh, my, my new book that I had, which was uh, the Definitive Guide to Long-Term Income from Weekend Workshops. Now you'll notice here, I've got some text at the top. That's what I wrote it for the post. But you also notice I have a headline here to get started today. I have this image and you'll notice that the hand goes from into a uh, little clickable hand here as well. So if I click that, just that image, if I click that image, it takes me to the sales page for the book, which is on Amazon. And it shows it here on Amazon straight on the sales page for sales. Okay, so how did I make that happen? Right? So it's really easy with simple click tracker. So I'm going to search for the book. I know the book um, part code here is WW Book Weekend Workshop Book. Okay, so I've got several promotion codes that I've used. I've just copied all of these, and this is the copy element right here. You just copy, click that, and it's going to duplicate what, whichever one you want, and you change each one of them as you go. So you'll notice this has 889, 898 clicks, three today. Uh, 19 over the last week and you know then it gives me all of the clicks over here so here's my link i'm going to click this to edit it i click the link itself to edit the link the description i guess that's the title specifically is uh to to edit it all right so now i've got it in my group book and summit promotion and here's my short code here's my amazon link that i input it as the destination url that's the destination url the redirect was WW Book, as I said. Okay, so we'll go into UTM training later if that's something you're interested in. But here is metadata for social media. Now, when I click that, it opens up and you can hide it and you can reveal it here. So when I add this, all I do is add a headline and then I add a description that will uh, be on Facebook as well. If I just post this by itself, it's a description that will show up in the, in the text. And then I add the image. You can add any size image you want here, but we recommend 1200 by 630, which is the best results for a Facebook ad post. And so we upload the image. You just click here, grab the image that we want. Yeah, here it is. So I would glad I would grab any of these that I wanted to use. These are promotionals. And and then click uh, insert when I when I grabbed one of those. I'm not going to change it. 
so you can see what it is. So it's just straight into my WordPress um, in my uploads and it is the image itself. And here's the image name. So it's very easy to do that. You can add that image, then click on it, insert it, there it is, okay? So now what I do after that is come to, let's go backwards here and grab that book link. So it will auto-populate. First time you put it on Facebook, it'll auto-populate with all of that metadata. But if you want to make sure that it is working exactly the way you want it to work, then you click on what's called the Facebook debugger. Now I've got that on my, uh, my browser bar up here because I use it all the time. Uh, and it brings up this uh, Facebook um, uh, link debugger. And so I'm going to put in here, okay, when I put that in there, I just click debug. And there may be a faster way to do this. I don't know. But um, it, this is what I do and it works for me. Okay, now I'm going to scrape. If it didn't come up the first time, which it usually will, by the way, you'll see it as the image and your, all your information is here. But if it doesn't come the first time, you just click scrape again. Or if you change the image, you can always change the image as well. And you can come back here and tell Facebook, this is now the image that we want to use with this short link. So um, then you would scrape it again, it shows it. And when it shows it, you're ready to rock and roll. So that is um, how you add social media images to your links.